I know I should do this, but I feel like doing that. Sound familiar? They call it inner conflict, but I like to call it inner civil war because it causes so much turmoil, anxiety, it's just a battle, right? In this video, I just want to share a few tips on how you can win that war. That's coming up. Hey everyone, it's Corey and welcome to my channel. It's all about motivating and inspiring people to choose life through my own experiences, positive and negative. And if you're a new viewer, can you please consider subscribing? Let's get into it. So inner conflict, man versus self, woman versus self, good versus evil, call it what you want. I like to call it inner civil war. And I call it that because that's how it feels, man. Like sometimes it's just a battle, a full battle, knowing that, you know, I know I should do this, but I feel like doing that. It's hard sometimes. And I just want to share a few tips that could really help some people out there because it does cause a lot of stress and anxiety and it can stop us in our tracks for ages. Like, yeah, it can really stop you from moving forward, achieving what you want to achieve for a long time. Like, I know from personal experience, you know, I've been stuck. Um... For, for minutes, for hours, like just not being able to move forward or make a decision and yeah, it's not cool. And like I said, cause a lot of stress and anxiety and I think in this world we need to do whatever it takes, you know, to, to lower our stress levels, right? Lower our anxiety levels. So, um, you know, these tips will really help. So, you know, just a few example, folks, a few examples, um, you know, I know I should not be drinking, but I feel like drinking, right? I know I should be eating healthy, but I feel like eating this cheesecake. Like, it's a full inner civil war, man. It goes on all the time. Like, if you've got some, um, yeah, any examples of what you battle with, what's your inner civil war, right? We'd love to know. Please comment below what you battle with on a daily basis. So, you know, some of the things that I've battled with over time is when I was a a young fella living on the Gold Coast surfing. Um, I used to work on a job site that was right on the beach, right where, where the waves were. And I always had my surfboard in the car. And every morning I'd pull in the car park at about 6.30 in the morning and the inner civil war would start, right? I know I should go to work, but I feel like going surfing. And man, it was tough. And most of the time I'd end up going surfing, not doing the, the right thing. So... Yeah, and some ex other examples are like in the morning now when I wake up every single morning, I have my shower, get ready, and I know that I should be doing my exercises. I know as soon as I get up, I know I should be doing my exercises, but I feel like doing other stuff, right? But yeah, it's important to do the right thing, and that's why I want to share these tips with you. And um, you know, there's lots of other examples out there, and I'll think of some more as, as I'm talking along here, but... Let's start with um, the tips right now. So the number one tip, um, you know, to win that inner civil war, win the battle, is to recognize if it's fear, if it's fear that you're feeling. Because sometimes we want to do something, but that inner civil war is because of the fear that we're feeling. So you got to recognize if it's the fear um, that's creating that battle inside of yourself, inside of your head, inside of your heart, like wherever it is, wherever it's going on, um, you need to recognize it. So if it is fear, is it valid fear? Is it real fear? Is it, um, are you going to die from the experience? Like that's how I personally measure fear. If I want to do something and I'm, I feel the fear, I'm like, am I going to die if I do this? And if there's a 99% chance I'm going to die from doing it, I don't do it. It was a valid fear. So that's just one way. Risk assessment, I like to call it as well. So number two is um, so number two is for the long term. Like what's the wisest choice right now? Having long term thinking. All right. So, you know, when it comes down to it, folks, if you're sitting there and you've just had your tea and it's like, man, I really feel like this cake, you know, long term thinking is it going to be good for you? No, absolutely not. Like same thing is like, let's just say, you know, you set, you, you know, you got, you got paid and you know, you got this inner civil war going on. Like, you know, do I just buy something I don't really need or do I save for the future? Like, yeah, it's about that long-term thinking. And if you have that long-term thinking, you're going to make better decisions 
and you know win that inner in, that win that inner civil war um, a lot quicker, right? I always had the dilemma. This is one of my inner civil wars, right? So for a long time, um, you know, my wife and I would always save, and we'd be saving, and we think, right, we also got to save for our future. You know, we got to be responsible adults. But then it's like, man, this holiday to Hawaii looks awesome. So I end up going on a Hawaii, on a holiday to Hawaii. So yeah, we've all got inside of us, folks. Like, yeah, we've all got those inner civil wars going on. So number three is to weigh up the pros and cons, and this is a really good one. So. When you got that inner civil war thing going on, you got the battle going on, you can't decide what, yeah. Get out a piece of paper and write the pros and cons. Like this is a really good one. And then make your decision based on that. Obviously, which one's the best one for you. So number four is trust your gut feeling. And I absolutely love this one. Like this is probably, yeah, one of my favorites, right? So trusting your gut. Like once you learn how to do this, um, yeah, this this will just guide you for the rest of your life. Like, it's very, very good. So, when I say trust your gut, it's just a yes or no decision, right? So, when you got, you know, I know I should do this, but I feel like doing that, just trust your gut feeling. And if your gut feeling is like, yes, you, you know, you should do this, then you just go with it. You don't second guess it. You don't doubt it. You just do it and go forward. And, you know, with my wife, Becky, we do this one a lot. Like, let's just say if she's, trying to make a decision on something, I just say to her, answer me yes or no right now. And then I ask her the question and she says yes or no. And then it's like, well, that's your gut feeling and you need to go with that. So I really hope these tips help folks because I know a lot of people out there struggle with the inner civil war, the battle going on. It's a daily thing that we have to deal with. And, you know, these tips work for me. So if you see value in what I do, folks, please subscribe. If you want to pay it forward, please share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Got lots more videos coming out soon. Thank you very much.